Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. If you are new, I'm Maggie and this is my sous chef for the day. This is Gaby. Say hi, Bubba. Can you say hi? He sees himself in the camera and he's like so, so into it. So today we are going to be making another Thanksgiving classic and this is stuffing. Um, This is just like a basic... I call it like a classic stuffing recipe. So I wanted to share it with you. So let's get started on prepping some of our ingredients and then we are going to start cooking. We have a little sous chef right there. He's gonna help mommy today, right Gaby? All right, so we're gonna start out with our bread. So I have some baguettes here that are pretty stale. Um, they've been I don't know a couple of days now and all you're gonna do is you can cut them or you can um, tear them you're gonna basically just kind of cube them um, oh, sorry this cutting board I kid you not is gonna be the end of me because it is constantly shifting so you're just gonna cube them okay so I finished cubing my bread and I would say in total you're probably looking about six to seven cups or so. I'm just trying to get all of the bread off the board. So now we're gonna start to prep the veggies that we're gonna need for the for the dish. So you're gonna need one onion. Okay, and you're just gonna dice them. Um, not super small, but probably like, you know, about yay big. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. And don't worry if you get some bread in there. It's totally fine. It's all going in the same place anyways, so. Okay, so now that our onions are prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some celery. Oh, yeah, I know, baby. You wanna help mommy? You wanna cook Thanksgiving dinner too? He is not happy right now. Okay. Mommy has to tend to her sous chef. One second. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dice up our celery. And then I just do like small cubes. Okay, so I have about three large cloves of garlic here that I tried to dice pretty well. I know. Um, so now your veggies are pretty much all set. So now it's time. I know. <laughs> Now it's time to start to pull it together. Okay, so my little helper is taking a nap because he, of course, is tired, right? So we're gonna get started on our filling part, like our veggies, I mean. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding about three tablespoons of unsalted butter to my pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this melt. Melted. I'm going to go ahead and add in my onions and at this point I'm also going to add in my um, celery just because you know celery is pretty tough so you want it to have a chance to cook down so I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes just until the onions become nice and translucent but I also don't want to forget to season this so I'm going to give it a nice generous sprinkling of salt since my butter was unsalted and then go ahead and hit it with some black pepper okay I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice toss i'm going to babysit this and then we will finish it off okay so my onions have cooked down beautifully so at this point i'm going to go ahead and add in my garlic now with garlic, you really don't want to cook this too long because if you burn it, it's going to get quite bitter and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is just cook it for about 60 seconds or so, just long enough for this um, garlic just to get fragrant enough, but not to get burnt and bitter. Okay, so everything has cooked down beautifully. The garlic is nice and fragrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside to cool slightly and we are going to work on finishing off the rest of our stuffing. What I have here is just the same bowl I used for the onions because I don't feel like washing any more bowls. So I'm going to crack in two eggs. Okay. 
and I'm just gonna lightly whisk them. What I have here is just some chicken stock, which is just, um, I added some water with some bouillon cubes because that's how I always do it. I have about two and a half cups here. So what we're gonna do is, I almost forgot to add in the veggies, you guys. Okay, should have probably used a bigger bowl for this. That's okay. All right, I just ended up getting a bigger bowl because if I wasn't filming, I probably wouldn't have bothered, but I don't wanna make a mess on camera. So to this, I'm gonna add probably half of the mixture of my chicken broth because I'm not gonna add everything just in case I don't need it, right? Take this. Because what you don't want is soggy bread, but what you also don't want is like pieces that aren't coated by your chicken broth, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and add in our egg. And I'm going to go ahead and just mix this together. Okay, we're going to do some salt. Salt and pepper to taste, you guys. I do about a teaspoon, maybe half or three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I go heavy on the pepper because my family loves everything with a little bit of kick so I go a little bit heavy on the pepper and then I do a pinch of Italian seasoning with some dried thyme if you want to use fresh thyme you can you'll just want to cook it with your veggies just add that right in there I would say about half a teaspoon of thyme and then just some parsley and go ahead and transfer it to our casserole dish. What I have here is just a casserole dish that I just generously um, put some butter in, just spread some butter as you can see the fat in there, um, because we don't want anything to stick, right? Why would you work so hard to get this perfection and then have it stick to the bottom of your pan? No way, not here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything is out of here. Last piece of onion, everything. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of make sure everything is, I don't have to make it super even, but I want it to be, you know, like so. So not looking for perfection here. And then I have about three tablespoons of butter. Actually, this might be two. I think I ran out of butter. So I just put it right here. And then when it cooks, it's going to melt and get nice and golden brown. Okay, so I covered this with some aluminum foil. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my preheated oven, which I preheated at 350. And then after 45 minutes, I'm going to take the aluminum foil off and I'm going to let it bake for an additional 30 minutes and that's going to give you that beautiful brown like crustiness on the top um, and then before you eat it I would say just let it sit cool a little bit maybe 15-20 minutes and then you are in business this is going to be such a hit for you guys I promise you um, if you want this recipe and then everything else you can go to my website at thelazygirlskitchen.com I'm going to have all the measurements for you so you can go ahead and just print it and you are all set and if you make it make sure that you share it on instagram and tag me so i can see your creation all right guys i hope that you love this recipe as much as we do and i will see you guys next time happy thanksgiving bye